guys, it's Linsor. So are we ready for this? I say we about stuff, but it's only about me. Does that mean that I'm something? Probably just a lunatic. I can deal with that. No, okay, but I think a video like this needs a bit of a disclaimer in the beginning. Of course, I am not making fun of anyone or trying to hurt somebody's feelings. I am legit just curious what is gonna happen. So today I'm going to do like a test to see if I am a sociopath. I know you guys are curious if you are. I have been curious if I am. I probably am not, but you know, I wanna, I wanna know. Shane Dawson recently came out with a series about Jake Paul. Everybody has been watching it. If you have not been watching it, where have you been? People are not liking it. People are loving it. People are hating it. I am a person who really likes it and I appreciate it that he tried to make it really entertaining. I get a bit sad when I see people bash on Shane because he tried to make it the way he did because I feel like that's his way of making his like art, his YouTube, that his hobby, his work. That's what he enjoys to do to make it a bit scary. So I understand why he did it. I can also understand the, the arguments on the other side, why it's wrong. But overall, I think this is really exciting and I think this has got people talking and I think everybody thinks everybody is a sociopath, which is uh, one of the negative of this show, yeah. So like the closest thing to a serious, like nothing online is gonna be serious and he's actually gonna tell me if I'm a sociopath or not, but I got on to Open Psychoschematics Matrix. It looked like the most legit one of the quizzes. Uh, let's hope so. I will link it down below if you wanna do it too. Of course, as I said, we'll never know if we're a sociopath just by checking a quiz, but uh, it's pastime, so yeah, I'm bored. Let's read the introduction of this. Psychopathy is a personality disorder characterized by a lack of empathy for others. The LSRP was developed in 1995. That's when I was born. For use in psychological research, it measures on two scales, primary psychology and secondary psychopathy. The test consists of 26 statements that could possibly apply to you. Most people will will complete the test in 5 minutes or so, oops. Okay, they can't spell, that. that's not good. They can't grammar. Success is based on survival of the fittest. I am not concerned about the losers. Okay, yeah, strongly disagree. I find myself in the same kinds of troubles time after time. Disagree. For me, what's right is whatever I can get away with, no? Uh, I am often bored. Agree. <laughs> oh my god! In today's world, I feel justified in doing anything I can get away with to succeed. I mean, I can do some stupid things to get away with, but you know, no more than that, I guess. Oops. I find that I am able to pursue one goal for a long time. Yes. I have done the so I think. Yes. I don't plan anything very far in advance. Kind of agree. Wait, I just saw I did that wrong. Let me fix some of the points. Making a lot of money is my most important goal. I want to do a lot of things in life that is going to cost me money. So I want to earn a lot of money so that I can spend it on the things I want to do. So I guess it is an important goal for me. It's not my most important goal because I want to be happy, hopefully. Get rid of some anxiety. Most of my problems are due to the fact that other people just don't understand me. That is not a sociopathic thing. Everybody feels like that. Come on, right? Ah. People who are stupid enough to get ripped off usually deserve it. Oh, damn. I mean, like, if my mom gives out her bank number to somebody who said they were from Google, I mean, she kind of would deserve it because it was stupid, but I still feel really, really bad for her and I want to help her, even though I'd probably laugh at her. But, you know, I'm just gonna go neutral on that one. Looking out for myself is my top priority. Well, in one way, don't everybody just look out for themselves? Like, if I want to save my mom's life, am I not just looking out for myself when I'm doing that? Like, if you really dig deep into why I would want to do that, I try to do things for others always. Or at least that's the way I try to be. Maybe I don't always succeed, but I, I don't know. I would say I neutral. I have been in a lot of shouting matches with other people. No. I tell other people what they want to hear so that 
they will do what I want them to do. Well, you know, if I want to do something fun and I think that they're gonna have fun doing it, I'm just gonna say stuff to get them to do it. Agree? I would be upset if my success came at somebody else's expense. Yes, I would. I actually talked about this yesterday. People who screw over people who does stuff for them and does so much for them but still screw other people around. I know someone who does that, not a friend, but somebody I've worked with and oh my god, it's like the worst thing ever. I cannot believe you can go to bed at night and have like a clean conscience and be happy about what you've done when you f**k somebody over who've done so much for you. I often admire a really clever scam. I do. I really do. I feel bad if my words or action cause somebody else to feel emotional pain. I don't know, sometimes, like, at times I have been in situations where I have been, I've met horrible people. And when I've met these people who have been, like, horrible to other people who do not deserve it, I've always been the one who takes on, like, that. I have to stand up for them. I have to do this and this. Which often just get me in the shit, but, you know, I, I feel like... I don't feel bad when I hurt those kinds of people, so I would not, I would disagree to feel bad. Cheating is not justified because it is unfair to others. I think it means that I am against cheating, which I am, I guess. It's a great, oh my god. I agree. You have completed the personality test. Were your answers accurate and can they be used for research? Just want to get my fucking answer. So the scores are one, which is low and five is high. I scored a 2.6, which is like more to the high than to the low. <laughs> Great! Your score for primary psychopathy was higher than percent of people who have taken this test. Your score for secondary psychopathy was higher than f***ing 49% of people who have taken this test. What does this mean? It doesn't even tell me if I am or not. So according to this stupid ass test, I am above average on the, the psychopathy or social, social, sociopath scale. Did I, was that even about sociopaths or was it about psychopaths? Did I like take the wrong test? So that was interesting. I don't believe it. I, I, I feel like I have an extra, too high almost empathy feelings for others. I wish I didn't because it sucks when you get into somebody else's like situation so much that you start to feel the way that I would feel if I were in their situation. So I do not think that has like, I cannot be a sociopath if I have those feelings. <sighs> oh my God. I can see the headlines. Lynn is a sociopath. Unsubscribe from Lynn or she's a sociopath. Path. Links are exposed! And page one with a decent picture this time. Uh, uh, anyway, this was fun. <coughs> uh, I hope I'll see you in my next video. If you did this test, please tell me in the comments down below what you scored. And let's see, I, I think I'm not a sociopath. Uh, no. Uh, but it was fun doing the test. So, I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye!